Okay, today is Saturday, October 22nd. Hopefully we got parts to fix the combine. And I just got back from duck hunting and stuff. I saw dad was out doing some discing, so we'll go talk to him first and see how the discing conditions are. Uh, everything's dry, looked like a bunch of people were out farming. And uh, so that was kind of neat. A lot of people out combining. <laughs> How'd it go? Good. Dad was over disc and sunflower patch. What's the soil like today? Wet. Wet? Yeah, it looks like you got a little bit of mud on your front tires, so must be a little bit moist over there. Hell yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Got the RWA behind the Super MTA. Warmed her up a little bit. Did it? What's the thermostat say on here? I don't know. Uh, cold. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't work. Yeah, probably don't work anymore. Man, uh, it uh, seems to handle it fine. I started out in second and after two or three rounds, I thought, well, now that she's warmed up, I better work her. So I put it up in the third, and it just seems to go. If it don't go, it spins. Yeah. But being with the good new tires on her, don't have much trouble plowing or yeah. disking. Those tires are basically like new. Yeah. Grandpa got them probably about the same time we got the tractor. Yeah, shortly before. Probably like 10 years ago at the latest. So and they have not seen a lot of hours either. I thought, well, I wanted to play with the deals, but didn't want to put gas in anything. Yeah, I understand that. Hey, we'll be right back. We went up to Roll King and TSC in Kendallville to get 41 lengths. That's what. Oh, this... neither one had the connecting length for 41. They had offset lengths, but not connecting lengths. They were all out. Pigs were empty. So I bought a 40, uh, which is the same size, it's just wider. And so I came home and I used the 41 we had and used the sides from a 40 and a uh, keeper from a 40. Works fine. So wow, that's cool. Until they get more 41s in, I guess we'll hopefully don't have to mess with it again for a while. And it looks great. So we're back in business. So I'll go ahead and cut this and finish putting this back together. All right. Cool. All right, so we got her adjusted. We got everything tightened up. Um, basically, uh, got that on, tighten this down, set the cylinder clearance to 5 8 um, And then of course, put the cover back on and hook the fan adjustment back up so we're good there neighbors are over there moving some gravel so that's what that background noise is um, so I think what we're going to do now is fire her up and back her up and turn her on and let uh, let it just breathe some air and uh, get whatever's in it purged out of it hopefully I'll throw this in here I'm not sure if this will start without starter fluid today or not, but we'll give her a try, I guess. Well, why try when you can do... Keep this part of the video short so you guys can watch more hauling grain and combine it. Get the good stuff here. Give her a good whiff and she should start right up. This probably looks familiar. That should work. There's the top. Close that up. quick we're all right there we could use another cord it's above the ad line 
probably gonna need some more fuel too later, but I'm thinking I got 15 gallon in there right now. So we'll get her going. Doesn't look like we got any bugs in here today, so that's always a good thing. Throw the choke on, throw the throttle, push out of gear. up now we got to get her latched on so it doesn't go anywhere so we're gonna set the safety valve and uh, see the little peg right here we got to push that in and slide her down with the tool comes with the combine set you right there ouch that felt real good oh cool sometimes you have to break these free there it goes. So that's one side. Let's get the other side here. Um, not much to set you on, so maybe that's will work. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. Now it's locked onto the combine, so you don't have to worry about the head falling off. And uh, while we're over here, we'll just go ahead and raise these. Raise the. Raise these up. Some folks take these off. I'm just going to leave it attached. Ooh, the ground is kind of wet still put my knee down in the grass and I'm betting my they're a little wet now my knee is it's okay though beautiful that's awesome let's go to the other side chain still looks nice and lubed up so our treatment with the uh, oil worked out pretty good these, uh, these must be factory because they fit really good. That's awesome. It's nice to have stuff that works. Cool. All right, last thing we'll need to do is hook this chain up, which we'll do once we get up there because I don't have any tools with me. Also, while I got this uh, shut off, I basically, uh, wouldn't mind seeing this a little cleaner, but I've got these pretty well opened all the way up. Both the adjustable chaffer and then the sieve that's adjustable below it. So I'm hoping as we run, this stuff will blow out left that's left over from the beans and uh of course the corn won't it's pretty heavy um take a quick peek inside here yeah and the walkers are pretty clean too so they just have a few stalks in here which isn't really a big deal might as well get them the big ones here this off the goal this year is obviously to leave the cobs whole so we're gonna see how that works 
I'm getting pretty excited because we're uh, hey, we're almost ready to go. <coughs> get too carried away let's see how we're doing out the back oh yeah. we're still leaving a few kernels on the ear it looks like I could probably tighten that cylinder gap up I guess or turn the we could crank it up a little bit that cylinder speed Let's look at the front here, see if we're doing any butt shelling. Boy, look at that ear of corn, that is beautiful. I don't see any, well, oh, 
uh, you can't do anything about the little tiny ears, but I'd say we're doing a pretty decent job so far. I think I'm gonna crank up the cylinder speed a little bit. So we're gonna run a little bit more and see if we have any more problems. like it's doing a pretty decent job I'm still seeing some kernels here on the ground that's probably about kernels. I think what we'll do is we'll go back and see what uh, what's an acceptable amount then we'll go from there. It looks like we're losing it at the head, honestly. Can't do anything about that. a nice view right there so this is the Alice Chalmers crop saving guide and uh, helps you calculate how many uh, basically how much loss you're getting and kind of helps you know what what uh, help you know what to do to adjust for it so we were seeing about 10 at least 10 kernels per square foot behind the separator housing so we were at least losing two bushels to the acre 
right out the gate so um, what we did was we tightened up the cylinder uh, to help shell and uh, we're gonna give her another go here so um, I've got the cylinder speed all the way up so there's anything I can do there um, we also adjusted the chaffer to uh, it was loading up with cobs I didn't realize that so hopefully this will basically we lowered it to, to about a fingers thickness uh, to tighten it up so the cops won't be going back into the the tailings elevator so I'm gonna throw my earplugs in we're gonna go try another go at it and see if we can get a tank full here so far we've got half a tank or so or a third of a tank and don't look too bad it's a nice clean sample so now we're just trying to do a little better job and see if we can get this uh, done right so We'll get her fired up, get back there, and start doing some more corn. Okay, we got our first bin full of corn. Looks beautiful. It's yellow gold. And I don't see too many cracks or splits, so I don't think we're going to change really anything. Looks great. Nice and clean. The uh, got the auger out, so that's ready to go. And I'm going to start with this first wagon here. Combine's running good. Chaffer looks pretty clean. Looks great. The uh, we're gonna double check this. Uh, always make sure your hoppers are closed. <sighs> cool. So we're good to go. Give you guys a beautiful view of the old Alice Chalmers by here it's Alice Chalmers Gleaner K corn and soybean special 1971 model and uh, black a330 corn head which is supposed to be the good corn head I think it's really nice and uh, pretty happy so I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing turned around so we can unload and then start another round A brief bit of problem solving we decided that first gear is the max speed or maximum gear to run corn on all three of these uh, rows and uh, I ran into a spot where I was running low on gas I guess that's the only thing we could figure so 
I'm gonna take it, uh, I put 15 gallons of gas in, so that should give me uh, at least an hour or so of running time, and, uh, maybe more, and we're just gonna take her slow and easy, and uh, do the best we can with what we got. Uh, the, the corn is actually really good corn, so no complaints there. Specialty has some really awesome corn, so very happy with them this year, and uh, I actually got that up at the elevator where or the uh, what do you call it the the farm supply business in in our local town so they're good folks and they took care of us um, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and make another round here I haven't really got to the inside rounds yet so we're still opening the field up but it's been pretty cool so far got the old uh, 49wd out here with uh, old picking wagon behind it so I'm gonna get some work done and and hopefully uh, get some good video for you guys
almost had a field well we did have a field fire we put it out thank god uh the variable speed drive just smoked the bearing come on here just pour pour that on there that's fine dad had to go get a beer after putting this fire out that was ridiculous yeah so she's a hot shaft we're gonna leave her cool down and then tomorrow i guess bring her back up to the pole barn and start working on it i guess so i guess it's a hot dry day so probably a red flag day yeah definitely don't start a bonfire today and i guess maybe don't even run corn that's yeah. crazy thanks mom for helping put out the fire thanks dad mm -hmm. dad was smart he ran up and got the mta with the disc he was out disking earlier thank god yeah because we me and mom were driving the wheelers through it to try to put it out and he who's he did a hell of a good job putting it out with that disc so we're going to keep an eye on it for the rest of the day and luckily the wind's blowing north so we didn't lose the field but my god we were lucky and that's a plug for bud light <laughs> or a bush light bush light all right thanks guys so i thought i'd come back out and double check make sure that the uh the smoke and the fire haven't restarted or anything like that don't think they're going to but i figure i might as well just double check for safety never hurts to to check here looks like it's all okay i don't see any smoke still that's good luckily the ground's nice and wet it's pretty crazy how dry the corn can be when uh, underneath of it's all wet but everything looks pretty good out here so that's good I thought I'd make a short video real quick. I mean, the combine's out of commission till tomorrow. Luckily, we had the parts on hand. So, what happened was the variable speed drive bearing, it went bad. And, uh, dropped some, some of its ball, uh, some of the balls from the bearing onto the, <clears throat> the really dry shaft and let the let it right on fire what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of curious this was my last bit that I was running before I noticed the fire I was just curious how good a job the combine's doing and looking at this uh gleaner's manual says you should see five kernels per square foot equals one bushel and i have for the most part i'm seeing about one bushel of loss which is stellar that's what we want we don't want i mean perfect would be zero so we're losing one probably to the uh you know going through the combine and then we're we're probably losing a, about a another bushel or two to header loss but uh see like right here you can see there's at least five so we're probably losing about two bushel of the acre between header loss and running through the combine which ain't too bad might even be three and this all obviously was when we started so 
but uh, before we can start tomorrow I'm gonna have to get two new fire extinguishers use those puppies up when we were trying to put the fire out luckily the fire didn't follow the combine so all we have to do tomorrow is pull this variable speed drive off and this shaft it's cooled down that's good basically we got to pull that bolt or that nut and then there's a bolt on top and a bolt on bottom of this cylinder and then break this line here and then uh, on the back side if this is like the other one which it is not something's got to hold it together Oh, man, this one don't have anything that holds it together. On the other one, there's bolts that hold this together. And you adjust those bolts, but this one doesn't have any. So this might be even easier. But uh, we'll have to pull the bolts. Uh, which that shouldn't be too bad. But... Uh, Probably got like 50 bushel in the tank up there so as soon as we get that fixed we'll unload this and start over but might as well put the stop on the header so she don't drift down it is a beautiful night so that's a good way to end kind of ends day one of the corn harvest here it's just a beautiful evening so well thanks for watching guys we'll start day two tomorrow with uh fixing variable speed drive and combining some more corn hopefully we do a better job of not starting fires <laughs> and uh yeah i gotta say i was very blessed god was looking out for us today because the fire was on the north side and the wind was blowing north so it really kept the fire away from the main like it it was in the stalks a little bit like the un, unharvested stalks but we got lucky uh god blessed us with with just the right wind and it kept it to where we could put it out with the tractor and the ATVs all running over it and the disc chopping it all up. It we really were we're lucky there. So anyhow, so God has blessed us. Hopefully we can get the combine going again and tomorrow and maybe do some more harvesting. And uh, yeah. So it's a pretty good night. Well, take care. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hey, comment there. This will be a good comment. Comment if any of your equipment has caught on fire or your uh, fields. Kind of always uh, interested in other people's experiences. So, uh, yeah, get under there. Comment, like, subscribe, and uh, appreciate it. Thanks.